Welcome to the latest installment of the Commonwealth Game News. In this episode, we'll be covering all the biggest and best moments from the game so far, from Australia's surprising gold medal overturn to Emma McKeon winning gold in swimming. We'll leave no stone unturned in our quest for Commonwealth Games coverage. First, Tears as Aussie has gold medal stolen away in a heartbreaking scene. On Monday night at the Commonwealth Games, Australian fans and commentators were furious that weightlifter Kyle Bruce didn't win gold because of a controversial judge's decision. Bruce was shocked when the judges took away the lift that would have won him the gold medal. Instead, they gave the top prize to Chris Murray of England, who was competing in his home country. Bruce had a good time with his team after his final lift of 183 kilograms in the clean and jerk section was given the go-ahead. However, the English team filed an appeal, which made Bruce and his team sad. The lift, which would have set a new record at the Commonwealth Games, was disqualified because of a hand press, which means that the lifter's elbow did not lock properly. The Australian team protested the call right away, leading to another review by the same judges, but it was overturned in less than a minute. Bruce had to settle for the silver medal, and when he talked to the press, the 23-year-old was in tears. After his father died in 2015, Bruce wore his dad's compression shirt. He was very classy even though he lost. Sometimes that's just how sports go, and Chris should be proud that he won. That day, he was the better lifter. I just had some bad luck there, he said. Bruce said he couldn't make a second appeal after the first one, but he promised to come back stronger at the 2024 Olympics in Paris and the 2026 Commonwealth Games in Victoria, Australia. His total in Birmingham was 323 kilograms, two kilograms less than Murray's winning total. His personal best was 331 kilograms, which he reached last year. Mel McLaughlin, a host on Channel 7, called Bruce's scenes heartbreaking, and Australian netball legend Catherine Cox said, sport is horrible. It is also good in the same way. On social media, fans and experts were angry about the result. Some called it a joke and a disgrace. Next, safety concerns force Australian cycling officials to make significant adjustments to bicycles at Commonwealth Games. Monday, at the Commonwealth Games, the Australian cycling team's racing bikes had to be changed significantly because of safety concerns. A review was done almost a year after Australian cyclist Alex Porter's handlebars broke during a race at the Tokyo Olympics, leaving him with serious facial injuries. It said that governance problems were partly to blame because the custom-made pursuit handlebars bars made to improve performance were not tested enough. Aus Cycling said in a statement on Monday that changes needed to be made right away after extensive testing and an exhaustive investigation of alternatives. That meant that Australian cyclists in the men's 1,000-meter time trial on the last day of the Commonwealth used drop bars instead of pursuit bars. The CEO of Aus Cycling, Jesse Korf, said that the change in equipment would slow down times because the drop bars would force riders to take a less aerodynamic position. Even with the changes, the men from Australia still won the event. Matthew Glatzer beat his fellow Australian Tom Cornish by more than half a second. By winning the event for the third time, Glatzer tied Anna Mears for the most gold medals at the Commonwealth Games with five. The safety of riders and spectators was a big topic at the meeting at the Lee Valley Velodrome in London. This came up because two major crashes over the weekend sent riders to the hospital. After Olympic champion Matt Walls was thrown into the crowd with his bike on Sunday, cycling star Chris Hoy called for perspex barriers to be put up at velodromes. Because of the accident, a session had to be stopped, and people had to leave while Walls was treated for almost 40 minutes. Later, he and two other riders were let out of the hospital. Spectators who were hit by the English riders also needed medical care. Moving on, Astana reinstates cyclist Miguel Angel Lopez after investigation. Miguel Angel Lopez, a Colombian rider, was put back on Team Astana on Monday after an investigation into drug trafficking in Spain. After hearing that Lopez was being questioned in an investigation into the activities of a Spanish doctor, suspected of drug trafficking, the Kazakhstani team temporarily took him off the team. Based on the information received, the Astana Kazakhstan team was advised that in the absence of any finding by either the Spanish authorities or the UCI, it was not in a position to continue the suspension or further deprive the rider of his contractual rights, the team said in a statement. Miguel Angel Lopez is thus provisionally reintegrated as part of Astana Kazakhstan team and will return to the previously agreed racing plan. Lopez, who is 28 years old, will start racing this month at the Burgos Vuelta and the Spanish Vuelta. Astana said the team will monitor the situation closely and will not hesitate to take resolute measures depending on the development of the situation. Lopez also won three stages at the Spanish Vuelta and a stage at the 2020 Tour de France. He came in third place at the 2018 Giro d'Italia and won the 2016 Tour de Suisse and the 2019 Catalonia Volta. Australian swimmer Emma McKeon wins 50-meter freestyle to earn 11th Commonwealth Games gold medal. Emma McKeon, an Australian swimmer, 
had a night in the pool on Sunday that made history. She won the most medals of any athlete at the Commonwealth Games. McKeon, who is 28 years old, won her 11th gold medal at the Commonwealth Games, which took place in Glasgow, the Gold Coast, and Birmingham. With this win, she set a new record for the most titles won at the Commonwealth Games. It was her third gold medal at Birmingham. The other two came in the 4x100m freestyle and 4x100m mixed relays. Later on Sunday, the women's 4x200m freestyle relay was won by Maddie Wilson. Kia Helverton, Molly O'Callaghan, and Ariane Titmus in 7 minutes 32.29 seconds. This was another world record for Australian swimmers, and they were happy about it. Titmus, who won two gold medals at the Olympics in Tokyo last year, was the last runner in the relay. His time of 1 minute 52.82 seconds was the fastest split in the history of the 4x200 meter relay. Titmus, who is 21 years old, touched the wall more than 12 seconds before Canada, which won the silver medal. England, which came in third, was another five seconds behind Canada. In the women's 50 free, McKeon's gold was one of three medals won by Australia. She won with a time of 23.99 seconds, and her teammates Meg Harris and Shayna Jack took silver and bronze, respectively. McKeon's parents, Ron and Susie, both former international swimmers, watched from the stands as their daughter beat Ian Thorpe, Susie O'Neill, and Liesl Jones for the most Olympic gold medals in a career. It's fun for me to go to the 50. This year, I feel less stressed than last year, McKeon said. I haven't worked as much as I did at this time last year, but my performances show where my mind is at. In Birmingham, McKeon is very close to setting another record. She has now won 16 medals at the Commonwealth Games and has four more races to go. Chad Leclos, a South African, tied the Commonwealth record of 18 medals earlier on Sunday. This is 10 years after he caused one of the biggest upsets at the Olympics in London. Finally, Botswana team Letsile Tobogo draws Usain Bolt comparisons after showboating sprint. Letsile Tobogo has been compared to Usain Bolt after he won the under-20 100-meter world title in a record time in Colombia on Tuesday. He did this by showing off and running fast. The 19-year-old Botswanan ran the 100-meter dash in 9.91 seconds, which was faster than the 9.94 seconds he ran in the heats of the Senior World Championships last month. He could have run even faster, though. Tobogo got off to a fast start at Cali's Pascual Guerrero Stadium and coasted through the last 20 meters, turning with a big smile on his face to point at silver medalist Bouajgi Nkrumier as he crossed the finish line. The early celebrations were meant to be like those Bolt had when he won the first of his eight Olympic sprint gold medals in Beijing in 2008 with a world record time of 9.69. Tobogo said on the website of World Athletics, If somebody took it as disrespect, I'm really sorry. It was so that everyone watching at home could enjoy the race and remember what Usain Bolt did in the past. He is the person I look up to the most. Right away, people on social media started comparing him to Bolt, and Bolt himself saw the run and retweeted the result. Tobogo said that he could have run as fast as 9. Point eight if he hadn't slowed down at the end of the race. Tebogo said, We have more races to come. We didn't want to go that far, but this is my year as a junior. We have to leave the record here for the next generation to come and break it. Unfortunately, that is all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe for more great Commonwealth Games updates. Cheers!